Wait, wait, wait. Hey, sorry, tell her. She's wearing her vacation clothes. Oh. Sorry, tell her. Sorry, tell her. Where are we going? Wherever we want. No, no, no. We have to know where we're going. We gotta go somewhere adventurous. Oh, I'd rather go somewhere nice and safe. And, and, like, we have to make decisions. Vacations are all about making decisions. Yes, yes. Let's go and decide on a place that's nice and safe and, and, and secure. And we'll have a nice time. Yeah, I'd rather, like, pick something adventurous and edgy. And, and, like, maybe some unpredictable, exciting things might happen. I do not feel comfortable with those choices. Uh, but come on, Doug, we gotta live a little. Great bear, you do. I do not like to um, um, take uh, unnecessary risks. No, we just, we just, um, we're just leaving room for unplanned things. I see what's happening here, and you guys, I know we have to make decisions. Okay, uh, so I, I want to decide all good things. And I want to decide all daring things that might be a little bit naughty. <laughs> well, lucky for you, we have a book where you get to decide. Oh, I love the Danny books. Oh, yes, I remember. We read these books before, didn't we, Storyteller? Yes, yes, as a matter of fact, we did, Doug. We, uh, we read What Should Danny Do? And we also read What Should Danny Do School Day? And I remember, I made some bad decisions. Well, uh, the author um, doesn't like to say bad decisions. Oh, what does he call them? Not the good decisions? Well, I like the good ones. And, and I like the other ones. <laughs> okay. So, how about we do this? How about Doug? Yes, yes, yes. You get to go first. Ooh, ooh, I get to go first. Yeah, that's so lucky. And you get to make all the decisions you want the first time around. Awesome! And then, Green Bear. <laughs> and then me! That's right. Because if you know anything about Danny books, you know that we get nine stories in one. Oh, that is a lot of stories in one book. Yeah, I don't know how they did that. Magic, obviously. 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 Oh, okay. oh do I start? Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Uh, what should Daddy do on vacation? Read by Storyteller. Decisions by me, Doug the Dinosaur. Hit it. Thank you. All right, what should Danny do? Oh, my name is... Ah... Uh, Okay, so this is the part where you say your name and I'll say my name at the same time. So, my name is Storyteller and I have the power to choose. Yep, that's going to be my theme. Power to choose. Got that? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Got it? Let's go. What should Danny do? Now, if you read these before, you know how it goes. If you haven't, it gives us all these instructions. It looks all complicated, but really it's very easy. Uh, so shall we just dive in? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I'm, I'm just, I'm ready to vacation right now, and I need to make decisions. All right, let's go. Hey, it's me, Danny. Hi, Danny. Good to see you again. You probably already know that I'm a superhero in training, and that's my most important superpower of all, is my power to choose. Mm-hmm. What you don't know is that I've been working on some cool new superpowers. I can climb up walls, I have night vision, and I can kick like a ninja. Hiya! Oh, and my superpower is kindness. I know, Doug, you're the best. I'm so excited. Today is the day I've been waiting for. My family is finally going on vacation. Finally. And I want you to come with us. Ready? Born ready. I mean, who here doesn't want a vacation, right? Am I right? Woohoo! We're going to Paradise Springs Resorts! I don't know where that is, but it sounds like paradise. They have an awesome water park, an arcade, and a kids club, and the coolest part is that my best friend Jakey will be there. As soon as Daddy finishes loading the car, we hit the road, and we put on those road tunes, you know, like, on the road again. I like, I, I have all these special like road trip songs. I hope you have your own because that makes road trips 
a thousand times more fun. A few minutes after we leave, I take out a robo converter. Ooh, that sounds cool. I know. Oh man, I forgot to bring a toy for the ride, Charlie pouts. Can we take turns sharing the one you brought? Oh, of course, of course we can take turns because sharing is caring. So, final decision? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so we will tell Charlie that we get, we will give it to him when he's done playing. Is that right? That, that is right. And you don't want to choose, say no to Charlie. No, no, no. Sherry is caring. Okay. Decision number one has been made. We're going to page 20. So, do, 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 do. Yep, a lot of back and forth now. Here, uh, here we go. Sure. You can play with it when I'm done, I say. I, I like this so far. I knew you would. So thanks, Charlie says, and he takes out a joke book to read while uh, he's waiting, and that looks fun too. So then we take turns playing with the robo converter, do do do, and telling each other jokes. We laugh and have fun the whole trip. Five minutes till we get there, Daddy explains. Wow, that drive went by so fast. So here we are at Paradise Springs Resort. <gasps> Isn't it beautiful? Oh, it's paradise, I'm telling you. And we wait in the lobby while Daddy checks in. Charlie and I start a no laugh challenge. Charlie tells me the first joke. What do you call a dinosaur that is sleeping, he asks. Hmm, that's a good one. A dino snore, he yells. Oh, 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 that is so funny, a dino snore. Oh, 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 oh. I, I cannot believe I have never heard that joke before. I know, right? I imagine a dinosaur snoring and I can't help myself. I start cracking up and neither of us can stop laughing. So we just agree to laugh as hard as we can. So much for that no laugh challenge. Just as daddy finishes checking in, we see Jakey and his family. Awesome, they're here and they're at the arcade. Hey mommy, can we please, please go to the arcade, I ask? Sure, mommy says, because mommy is super cool. I use my super speed to zoom over to Jakey as mommy gets me an arcade card. Hey, Jakey, I say. He runs over and gives me a high five. That's right, high five. We're on vacation. We shoot baskets and bowl and do, 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 do. Fire at the targets to get as many tickets as we can. And when we're done, we each turn in our tickets and get a hand clapper, a chocolate bar. Ooh, that's a good choice. A slimy snake and a top secret disguise. I wonder if mommy will recognize me. Well, gosh, fellas, I thought you were grown men. I had no idea. Wanna meet my family at the wonky water zone after lunch? Jakey asks, yeah. Let me ask my parents if I can. All right, see the green arrows telling us to keep going. So we're just gonna keep on going. They say yes. Oh, these parents are the best. So right after lunch, we all meet Jakey's family at the pool. Wow, that is one big, spectacular, paradise-like pool. Although, something is wrong with his face. Let's see. We apply our sunscreen. Oh, hold on. Sorry, you guys. But I burn really badly. So I just need a, uh-huh. Did I blend it? Yeah, looks good? Okay, just making sure. Safety first. After all, summer, we can't get sunburned because then it just ruins the rest of the trip. I know, I know, it's a pain to put on, but we gotta do what we gotta do. Let's go on. Come on, Danny, he says. Uh, maybe I'll catch up later, I say. But that slide looks super scary. I'm not so sure I wanna try it. Ah. Uh, that would explain that face. I play by myself for a while, then Jakey comes running back. Hey, what are you doing here, he asks. This is the funnest slide ever. Let's go now before the line gets too long. Okay, we have choices to make. What should Danny do? Are you ready? I am ready, and I already know the answer. Okay, but let's go through the choices first. Uh, we go down the slide with Jakey, or we tell Jakey the slide looks scary. It looks too scary. Look at that thing. All those twists and turns. I, I already feel my stomach turning into 17 knots. Okay, so yes to the slide? No, 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 no slide, no slide. Okay, okay, Doug, you got it. We're gonna tell Jakey that the slide looks scary. So we're going to page 
90, 90, we're go I know, there's a lot of pages in this book. You know why though? Because there's like 175 stories in here or nine, I forget exactly what the count was. Okay, here we are, page 90. Um, I think I'm gonna stay because that slide looks scary. Okay, see you later, he says, and he zooms back to the slide. See, no big deal, they're still friends. He's just gonna go off. So I look for Charlie, but he's busy playing with Kira, who's Jakey's sister. So I guess I have to play by myself. I practice my handstands, very good, and water flips, but after a gallon of water goes up my nose, oof, that's uncomfortable. I need something else to do, so I get out of the pool and I look around, okay? Oh, look at that, we're already on the last page, but not really, because this book has us jumping around. I see a jungle gym and tell daddy, I wanna check it out, looks really. Really spectacular. Ooh, there's that scary slide still. When I get there, I see a girl in a wheelchair with a frisbee in her hand. Ooh, I love playing frisbee. I overhear her talking to her dad. I'm so bored, she says. I have no one to play with. What should Danny do? Because remember, what do we have here? We have the power to choose. Oh, I did it wrong. Try again. Let's do it again. Power to choose. Because I chose to do it right. Okay, Doug, you're up. Okay, okay, so my choices are continue playing by himself, no, or, hold on, ask the girl if she wants to play with him. That way, that way, dee, 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 that one. I knew it, and you know what, Doug? What? This is why everybody loves you. Oh, 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 that feels so good, that feels so good. Oh, keep reading though, I wanna know what happened, but don't stop doing that. Oh, but I can't because I have to. Read, okay? All right. Uh, so I have to go to page 50, all right? That's a good choice. I mean, nobody wants to play by themselves on a, with a Frisbee. I mean, it's not a boomerang. Let's see. Cool Frisbee, I tell her. Thanks, she smiles. I can fly super far. Nice. Want to play catch? Sure. My name is Danny. What's yours? Isabel but my friends call me Izzy. So we play catch and she's really good. You've got a really strong arm, I tell her. Yeah, my arms are strong because I need to push myself around a lot. Cool. We play for a while and then she asks, wanna hear a funny joke? Yeah. Do you have any holes in your shorts? I look at my shorts. No, I say, confused. So how do you put your legs through? And they both laugh and laugh and laugh. We tell each other joke after joke and laugh so hard our stomachs hurt. She knows way more jokes than I do. Good decision, look at that. New friend, awesome new friend. Hey, um, my brother and I have a cool joke book. Wanna check it out, I ask? Sure, she asks her dad if she can come and he says yes, yes. Another score with the parents. We head back to the pool and I see Jakey and Charlie. This is my new friend, Izzy, I tell them. She's super funny. Nice to meet you, Jakey says. And just as I hand over our joke book, mommy comes over and tells us it's time for dinner. Izzy's dad says, I was planning on bringing Izzy back in an hour for s'mores and a movie in the pool. Would you like to join us? That would be great, mommy says. Yay! This is all working out very well. We come back after dinner and Izzy tells me she loves my cape. Oh, that's right. You know what that cape is? I'll tell you in a second. I offer to let her wear it. As soon as I put it on her, she does the coolest spin moves and the cape flies through the air. Her dad comes to me and says, thanks. Thanks for making her day. I wish there were more kids as nice as you. I smile and say, she made my day too. That right there is the power to choose cape. Mm -hmm. We roast marshmallows by the pool and watch a movie on the big screen. Turns out Izzy lives a few miles away from me. We make plans for an ultimate Frisbee play day next week. Score! This has been such an awesome day. The end for now. But the book is telling us that of all the possible 7,873 possibilities in this book, this was only Number three, I might be exaggerating, but probably not. Oh, 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 I loved it, I loved it, I loved everything about it, it was perfect. Now, it's time 
for me to make the choices. That's right. Let's see what happens when we make totally different choices. All right, back to the beginning. All right, what should Danny do on vacation? Bye. Green Bear, making all the choices, and Storyteller will do the reading. Here we go! Here we go! Hey, it's me, Danny. Hey, Danny, we know you. You probably already know that I'm a superhero in training, and that my most important superpower of all is my uh, power to choose. You've gotten really good at that. What you don't know is that I've been working on some cool new superpowers. I can climb up walls, I have night vision, I can kick like a ninja. Hiya! Hiya! Me too! I'm so excited. Today is the day I've been waiting for. My family is finally going on vacation and I want you to come. Ready? I was born ready. Let's go. Woo! We're going to Paradise Springs Resorts. Remember that place? Yeah, there it is. They have an awesome water park, an arcade, and a kids club. I love all of those things. I know. And the coolest part is that my best friend Jakey will be there. I love it when I get to go on vacation with my best friend Dale the Dinosaur. It makes everything so much better. As soon as Daddy finishes loading the car, we hit the road. On the road again. Jan can't wait to get on the road again. A few minutes after we leave, I take out a robo converter. Oh man, I forgot to bring a toy for the ride, Charlie pouts. Can we take turns sharing the one you brought? Is it, is it me? Is it my turn? It's your turn. Okay, what should Danny do? And I'm gonna go with say no to Charlie. Oh, you don't even wanna hear the other option because you know sharing is caring. No, because he, for, he should've brought his own toy and that's my toy and I want it. So no, 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 Charlie, no. Okay. Mm. No, Charlie, you cannot have the toy. Well, let's see what your decision is going to mean for our vacation, shall we? Let's find out. <laughs> All right, we're going to page 12. That's the no page. Let's see. No way, I say. You should have brought a toy for yourself. The ride takes forever. Charlie keeps kicking my foot and putting his arm on my chair. I keep shoving his arm off, but it isn't helping. Oh, this is not a good car ride. After a while, I get bored and put the robo converter away. And Charlie's reading a joke book and cracking up. Can I, can I read some jokes? I ask him. You didn't share with me, so why should I share with you? He says. Oh, you know, the parents are in the front doing this. Oh, when are we gonna get there? After a million miles, we finally get to Paradise Springs Resort. Oh, it is very, very attractive. Daddy and Mommy ask us to wait on the couch until we're checked in, and I sit as far away from Charlie as possible. Oh, you guys, this is just not the way to start a vacation. I look towards the arcade and see Jakey there, and I'm so excited that I run straight over. Hey, Jakey, I yell. Hey, Danny. I can't believe that we're both here together. Yeah, I'm so happy I finally got here. Wanna, wanna play a round of air hockey? You're on. We zoom to the air hockey table, and Jakey scans his arcade card, and we play a game. When we finish, Jakey says, hey, wanna win some tickets so we can get some prizes? Great idea. I check my pockets and realize oh, I don't have any money. No! But wait, it's okay. Why? Because I just have to go get some from mommy. Oh, okay, I'm gonna go. Okay, don't go too far. I run back to the lobby, but I don't see her. Oh, I look for daddy at the counter and he's not there either. Charlie is gone too. Well, uh, if you recall, and the other scenario, he asked if he could go, and this time he just ran off without asking. Uh, I see what happened. Yeah, they went off to the room because they couldn't find him, so now you know what? No money. Mm-hmm. So, uh-oh, I look everywhere, but I don't see them. Where did they go? Get over here. <laughs> what should Danny do? Okay, this is you. Okay, so do I go look for them or do I stay calm and ask a safe helper for help? Well, obviously I'm just gonna go look for them. 
So you're not going to ask for help? Nope! I can handle this all on my own. So go to page 44. Let's do this. Okay. We're just going to go looking for them in this giant resort where we don't know anybody. That's fine. I run up and down the hall and they're not there. Go figure. I run back through the arcade and the lobby and they're not there either. Oh no, somebody's getting nervous. What if they left me here alone? They wouldn't do that, would they? I run to the restaurant and look through all the tables. I see a door, maybe they went in there. And I run through the door and end up in the kitchen. Hey, you can't be in here, a man yells. Oh goodness. I run out and start to cry. Oh, this is just going from bad to worse, Green Bear. I've been alone for so long. Where did they go? Why did they leave me? How can they leave me? Well, if you remember, Green Bear, I remember nothing. You left first. Yeah! After 100,000 minutes, a woman from the hotel walks up to me. What's wrong? She asks. I can't find my parents. And look at all the tears streaming down his face. Don't worry, sweetie. I'm sure we can find them. So she asks for my full name and speaks into her walkie-talkie. We got a lost kid here. Uh -oh. Yep, yep, right here. Name is Danny. What? Yep, big crier. A few minutes later, I hear someone announce on the loudspeaker, can the Miller family please come down to the lobby? Miller family to the lobby. Oh, the shame. Soon after, I see my family running towards me. Daddy! I yell. We found you. We were looking for you everywhere. And I squeeze them really tight. Do you see that? P2C. Power to choose. That's what we're doing. Mm-hmm. For better or for worse. Danny, you can't wander off like that, he says. It's not safe, and if you ever get lost, you have to remember what we taught you. Stay where you are and call out for us. If we don't answer, you need to ask a safe helper for help. Hmm, safe helper, what a thought, huh, Green Bear? <laughs> Oh yeah, I say, a, a safe helper is a mom with kids, a security guard, or a person who works at the place where I'm lost. That's really good. Uh, a mom with kids, a security guard, or a person who works at the place where I'm lost. These are three excellent <coughs> things to remember. Are you remembering any of this? I <laughs> know. That's a yes. That's right, Daddy says. We go hang out in our room while we all calm down. At least Mom is enjoying a nice, refreshing lemonade out on the balcony. And the kids I see are still sitting about 7,000 miles apart, but at least they're calm. They're not fighting, right? After lunch, we head out to the pool. Charlie runs off while I go down the slide. I play with my water gun. But after a while, I need more firepower to get Dr. Ninjario and his cronies. I grab Charlie's water guns and it's fully loaded. Now I can shoot at them with two guns at once. I jump in and out of the pool to get away from the bad guys, but then, oops. Oh no. Charlie's gun falls and breaks. Ba, ba, ba. Not Charlie's gun. Oh, Green Bear. I know what I've got to do. Mm hmm. Make a choice. What should Danny do? Take responsibility for breaking Charlie's gun or hide Charlie's gun before he comes back and then everything will be fine. Okay, let's do that. Oh, you know he's going to notice. He might not notice. He might be distracted. Green Bear. You said I can make the, all the bad choices. I want to make all the bad choices. Okay, okay. Let's do it. Let's hide the gun. Okay, this is so fun. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're going to hide the gun before Charlie comes back. I mean, do you think Charlie's not going to notice? Oh no, Charlie's going to be so upset I have to think fast. I grab the water gun and drop it behind the bushes. Yep. Just then Charlie comes back. Hey, where's my water gun? I don't know, I respond. He looks for it under the lounge chair and in the trash. My tummy doesn't feel so good. What is that swirling around your stomach? The, mm, the, the fresh swill of regret? Just then, a girl comes up to me with Charlie's broken water gun in her hand. Hey, I saw you playing with this earlier, and she hands it to me. I found it behind the bushes. Ooh, the good Samaritan has exposed 
the ruse. Charlie C said it's broken. Oh, he looks real mad. He storms at me and pushes me towards the pool. Before I fall in, I grab his arm and pull him in with me. Oh, wow. We wrestle in the pool until the lifeguard jumps in to separate us. Didn't you hear my whistle? What are you kids doing? He asks. Mommy hears the ruckus because mommy hears everything and comes over and everyone is staring at us. Oh, this is officially a scene. Let's head back to the room, she says. You boys need to calm down again. In the elevator, I ask what floor we're on. 18, mommy responds, and Charlie quickly presses the button before I get to it. No fair, I yell. I wanted to push it. Everybody just needs to calm down around here. We get to the room and daddy says that we'll be staying in and having peanut butter and jelly for dinner. What? I say, I wanted to go out for dinner and peanut butter and jelly doesn't charge my superpowers. Sorry, he says, I think we all need to relax a bit. Now I think you'll recall in the previous scenario when we made the good decisions that it turned out to be a much better dinner. People went out, there were s'mores. You don't see any s'mores here, do you? Mm. I go to sit by the TV, but then a great idea pops into my head. Hmm, what if I call room service and order some chicken nuggets for dinner? Oh, I love chicken nuggets. Let's do that. Well, let's see what the choices are. Hit it. What should Danny do? Eat the peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Order chicken nuggets? Well, that's obvious. Peanut butter and jelly? Chicken nuggets. Let's do this. Okay. Gonna order chicken nuggets. Do you think that Danny's even gonna bother to ask his parents about that decision? I mean, it's their hotel room credit card. Hmm? I pick up the phone and I hit the button for room service. I'm pretty hungry, so I think I'll want 10 nuggets all for myself. Room service? How can I help you? A lady asks. I change my voice to sound like an adult as best I can. Uh, um, uh, can I get uh, 10 chicken nuggets, please? Sure, 10 orders of chicken nuggets, she says. Anything else? Oh, yeah, oh, barbecue sauce. Lots of barbecue sauce, I say. And uh, Shirley Temple with a cherry on top. Okay, you got it. Coming right up to room 1876 in 10 minutes, she says. Everyone sits on the balcony to eat their peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, and then we hear a <coughs> on the door. I'll get it. Uh, Daddy says, okay, but make sure to check out who it is first. I rush to get it so I can sneak the chicken nuggets in without anyone noticing. Has he lost his mind? He thinks he can waft in with smelly chicken nuggets and no one's going to smell the delicious, delicious taste, smell of fried food. Ha! But when I open the door, I see a whole cart with plates and plates full of chicken nuggets. Whoa! The man rolls the cart into the room. Uh... Thank you, I say as he leaves. What has he done? I only meant to order 10 pieces, but they sent me 10 plates. What if I get caught? What if? It's just eat fast, eat fast! I think fast and roll the cart into the bathroom. I move all the plates into the bathtub. The bathtub, the bathtub! Great idea, terrible idea. Wow, this is a lot of chicken nuggets. Maybe I can have some nuggets for breakfast tomorrow. I put the last plate in the tub, grab the Shirley Temple, and jump in. Just before I put the first nugget in my mouth, Daddy walks in. Bum, bum, bum. Danny, what is this? Uh, ooh. I, 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 I only meant to order 10 chicken nuggets, but it looks like they sent 10 plates full. Oh, uh, would you like some? I think you know better than to order room service without permission, Danny. My face turns red. This day is definitely not going well. Oh, man, it's really not. And the nuggets look so good. Did he ever eat one? I don't think so. Mm. I know that going on vacation is exciting, so I was willing to forgive some of your behavior from earlier in the day, but I will expect for you to pay for these chicken nuggets. What? But that's like all our money. Uh-huh. He picks up the receipt. Looks like they cost a little over a hundred dollars. A hundred dollars? A hundred dollars? 
A hundred dollars? Oh no! This has been the worst vacation ever, and now I'll need to sell a lot of lemonade to make that much money. The end. No! This was terrible! You mean, this, this can't be the end? No, there must be more pages. Oh, there are more pages. For those who make better decisions. Ah! Man, man, this was not at all as exciting and fun as I had hoped. Well, I mean, I didn't know it was going to go that badly, but oh, it kind of did. <laughs> oh, Green Bear, hey, hey, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I just thought that the story was going to be like a lot more exciting and fun. Wait, 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 the decisions I made? But what happened? Well, I mean, first of all, you met that cool new friend in your version. Yes, and then we made a play date for later, and we had s'mores, and we saw a movie outside. But, but I didn't get any of that. I didn't meet any new friends, and, and I ordered too many chicken nuggets, and now I, I went through my entire savings account because I ordered too many, and everybody's mad at me. Oh... I, I, I don't think that the bad decision was a good decision. So, did you not have a little bit of fun? Well, I thought it was going to be more fun than it was, but it's actually kind of stressful. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. At least we learned that we should make better decisions because then we get a better outcome. It's just math. Oh, yeah, you're right. Mm. He's right. So, uh, I'm gonna, uh, gonna go lay out, get a little bit of sun now because, you know, it's time for me to go on vacation. Oh, where are we going? Yeah, where are we going? I will make all the decisions. Don't you worry. No, no, she's doing that thing. I know, I know, it's kind of exciting, but I know she will make good decisions. I know, but I kinda wanna know. Me too. I will never tell until we arrive. Happy vacation, kid. Have a great one wherever you go and make them good decisions. Mm -hmm.